What's up my peeps, this is the prediction game video for CM Punk vs The Undertaker, a match that's going to take place this Sunday at Wrestlemania 29, and it's also the match I'm looking forward to the most at the event this year at the show. Uh, I'm a big fan of both guys, both Undertaker, CM Punk, actually CM Punk I'd say is in my fave five as Booker T would say, and you know you, you've got two great workers here, so... Really, I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a good match or a great match. When it comes to Taker and WrestleMania, I feel he just puts on, like, the best matches. Um, you know, either the match of the night or close to it. I mean, ever since WrestleMania 23, when he faced Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship, uh, to me, that was the match of the night. That was the match I was looking forward to the most. You know, you had Batista on top of SmackDown, uh, the top babyface holding the World Heavyweight Championship, and then The Undertaker challenging him after winning the Rumble, and I thought that was a great match, and also you had WrestleMania 24 the year after, he was facing Edge, another great matchup, WrestleMania 25, Shawn Michaels 26, Shawn Michaels once again, both great matches, and then Triple H in a No Holds Bar match I believe, afterwards they held a Cell match, and uh, now it's uh, Undertaker versus CM Punk. Pretty much, I feel ever since WrestleMania 23, Undertaker's matches have been like, like I said, either the best on the card or close to it. And actually, I also liked Taker versus Randy, but that was at WrestleMania 21. I uh, love that RKO counter, or actually that choke slam counter into the RKO. But anyways, I know usually in the simulation videos of the matches, you know. I'll usually go into more detail on my pick. By the way, my pick for this match, my prediction, is The Undertaker. I feel he's going to win this matchup. Now, what I usually do is I'll go into detail and explain why. But, when it comes to Taker's streak, I don't really have like an in-depth explanation and a bunch of reasons. Really, the, the major reason is just I, I don't think The Undertaker's streak is ever going to end. Uh, not against CM Punk, not against Shawn Michaels, Triple H, uh, who have pretty much whoever faces him, I don't think they're going to beat The Undertaker, it could be John Cena, whatever. Not only do I not think anybody's going to beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, but I also don't want to see anybody beat Taker's streak. Uh, you know, I want it to remain intact, um, and I want Undertaker to retire with a, you know, flawless WrestleMania, you know, record, whether it be 22 and 0, 20. 23, 24, whatever number, you know, pretty much I don't want him to lose at WrestleMania. Uh, for example, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of CM Punk, but I don't want to see him end the streak. I'm a huge, huge fan of Christian, and I wouldn't want to see Christian end the streak either. And although I'll always go with The Undertaker when it comes to his matches at, at WrestleMania, you know, I, I'm always inter interested in seeing the matches because I know that it's most likely going to be a good match, and it's, it's always... Uh, Interesting to see how close the superstars get to actually ending the streak. You know, how many finishers is Taker going to kick out of? Uh, how many GTS? How many, you know, pedigrees? Or how many finishers is The Undertaker going to hit on his opponents? And are they going to kick out of any? Uh, is there going to be any interference or anything like that? Oh yeah, and while I'm on the topic of people, you know, getting close to ending the streak... I actually, uh, you know, I, I know I say I always go with The Undertaker when it comes to his matches, and, and I do, but uh, WrestleMania last year, when Shawn Michaels was the referee and he super kicked The Undertaker, and then right after Triple H hit the pedigree, I was like, oh, that, that was actually a moment where I was like, oh crap, is this really going to end? I, I seriously thought at that moment that, how can Taker kick out of this, you know? Um, before the actual super kick and followed by the pedigree, I believe Taker got hit with a steel chair. I, I don't know how many times, and also uh, he also got pedigreed, I think. And then he gets super kicked, followed by a pedigree, which usually ends the matchup. You know, when they used to have their tag team matches as the X. Th that was uh, when Taker kicked out. I was like so relieved, and at the same time, after the match, I was like, you know what? That was freaking cool because. You know, me, I'm somebody that just doesn't think Taker's going to lose ever at WrestleMania. At that point in time, I thought that Taker was, um, you know, possibly going to get pinned and lose the matchup. But he didn't, so, yeah. And so, uh, I'm interested in seeing this year 
Is CM Punk gonna get really, really close to beating The Undertaker? Maybe we'll get another moment like that, you know, like the Hell in a Cell moment. Obviously, there's no special guest referee in this match, but, uh, you know, they could pull off something different that will make the fans think that, oh crap, looks like Taker is, you know, going to lose this matchup and the streak is over. It's gonna be 20, 20 and 1. And being on the subject of close calls when it comes to Undertaker's matches, uh, this whole storyline, this whole feud between CM Punk and The Undertaker lately has been all about CM Punk trying to get in The Undertaker's head, uh, you know, trying to get him pissed off and, you know, have him lose his cool at WrestleMania. Uh, trying to get him either counted out, disqualified, just because he wants to get his hands on CM Punk really badly after Punk stole the urn and for a couple of weeks has been disrespecting uh, Paul Bearer, Undertaker. So when it comes to close calls with this matchup, I'm fully expecting uh, them to have maybe The Undertaker getting close to a five count. Maybe uh, so you have CM Punk like in the corner and Undertaker just hitting him and hitting him and the referee's counting and he's getting close to five. Undertaker almost getting disqualified. Uh, maybe uh, even contemplating using a weapon or almost getting counted out, something like that. I can definitely, definitely see that happening. I'm expecting that to happen, uh, judging, you know, from, from watching, you know, how it's, well, what's been happening basically on Raw between the two guys. So if anything, I don't think it's going to be so much of a close call when it comes to, like, the finishers. I don't think CM Punk's going to hit, like, I don't know, if, if, like, four GTSs or three GTSs or whatever. I think it's more so going to be The Undertaker almost getting disqualified or almost getting counted out because it fits the storyline. It goes well with, you know, the feud and what's been happening. And on the subject of the feud between CM Punk and Taker, I feel, you know, I would have liked, I would have liked to see this feud start a little earlier just so we could have a few more weeks between uh, CM Punk and The Undertaker. Uh, for example, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, Triple H versus The Undertaker. Um, I think all of the you know matches Taker has had at WrestleMania uh, the past couple of years that have had more weeks uh, to build up than this one. I feel this one was a little bit. Um, it, it, I feel it was started a little bit late. I would have liked it to start maybe the night after. The Elimination Chamber or the Raw after that, when he was facing John Cena. I remember for like two weeks straight or maybe three weeks, I was uh, in the Raw preview videos, I was predicting like every single week, okay, I think Taker's gonna return uh, tonight, you know, and eventually he returned at the old school Raw where CM Punk won the Fatal 4-Way, was it a Fatal 4-Way match? Yeah, it was a fatal four-way match to uh, become the new normal contender. Um, well, not normal contender. Normal contender? Just, no, just challenger uh, for Taker at WrestleMania. Also, something I'm wondering is, is Paul Heyman going to be at ringside for this matchup? Or is he just going to be at ringside maybe for the Brock Lesnar and Triple H match? Uh, or both? I don't know. It'll be inter interesting to see. And also, something I'd like to see is I'd like to see the Shield actually get involved in this matchup. I want to see them interfere and, you know, help CM Punk. Uh, not to end the streak, you know, well, help them to try and end the streak, but I don't actually want them to, uh, you know, end the streak. But I'd like to see the Shield come out. Maybe they could have the lights go out, so that way the referee doesn't see anything, and then they triple powerbomb the Undertaker. Well, actually... I mean, the ref would see that The Undertaker got taken out by somebody or by something, so never mind that, but the referee maybe could get taken out and he could have the shields interfere in the matchup, take out Undertaker with the triple powerbomb, and then CM Punk goes for the cover once he could have a really, really close, you know, three count, but Taker kicks out. But with the shield already having a match at WrestleMania, I'm not sh so sure it's, it's you know, that's going to happen. But just because they have a match, it doesn't mean that, you know, they can't interfere in the match, at least, you know, in my opinion. I know some people might not like that idea, like they want Taker vs. CM Punk one-on-one, -on -one, no interference. Uh, you know, personally, I don't mind interference, you know. Uh, if it doesn't cost Taker the match, but but it makes for, you know, a cool moment, then I'm all for it. I'd like to see that happen. 
And apparently CM Punk might be taking some time off after WrestleMania. He might not compete at Extreme Rules. Um, you know, that's unfortunate. But, uh, you know, since uh, he got hurt, I believe, in a match against Kane. So if he needs time off, then he needs time off. And I'll be looking forward to his return. So anyways, uh, that is pretty much it for my detailed prediction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, you can click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Really helps me out. I'm trying to make the WrestleMania 29 prediction game videos the biggest ones yet. And with that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.